It's Vaughan Marshall, second time in the winner's box today, and you must be absolutely thrilled to bits with the way Kane Lime and Soda just won a wonderful race. Well done, Vaughan. I know you had your doubts about him being the youngster, but you must be thrilled to bits with that because that was just uh, magic. Absolutely, for you. And I, I think he's just proved that he's a decent horse, um, and we're very, very proud of him. And good luck to Robert and to um, Ron Chetty and his wife. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just wonderful to have a horse like this who was a sort of ugly ducking to begin with, and he's come through and he's, he's delivered the goods. I just love the way he, he travelled in the race. He was so nice and relaxed and switched off. And, and when MJ asked him, he just he just found and, and, and kept on finding. It was pretty impressive. It was for you. you know, he's just a big baby and he's still, he's still learning how to race, really and truly. You know, at, lo at least this race, he, uh, compared to the others, he took an interest in the race and, and, and held it, got hold of the bit. And, and hopefully he'll go on from here and, 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 and keep improving. I'm sure he will. Uh. It's really, really exciting when you must be thrilled to bits. Well done to you and all the team. Thanks so much, E. Thank you. Coming through is winning rider MJ Bailefelt. Uh, MJ's second winner on the day as well, building up to the big one. MJ, MJ, very, very well done. What a lovely horse. And I was just saying to Vaughan, he was just so nice and relaxed and well positioned throughout the race. Yeah, for him, his dad was always going to run on. He, he's a bit of a lazy bugger, as I said before. He doesn't do anything at home, and that's the way he races. And you worry a little bit when it's a fast run track, but he had a lightweight and a good turn of foot, and he's obviously a little bit above average. He's, he's going to do something, something nice. And, He's progressive, so let's hope he doesn't stop you. Yeah, lovely horse. There was obviously all the doubts that he was the youngster in the field, but he's just pulled away very, very nicely indeed today and a uh, lot to look forward to. Yeah, definitely. I, I thought last time he's a good thing, but obviously the old horses carried the weight and, and made him run a bit. And it was a step up in class today, but he had a bit, a little bit um, more weight in, the, in his favour and it showed. He's a nice horse and he's not going to stop. Well, it's been a great day for you so far. Let's hope it continues another top ride. Well done, MJ. Yeah, thank you and well done to Robert. He, he's patient. Sometimes a bit difficult, but <laughs> he keeps us on our, on our toes. Well done to him. He's got a nice on his hand. To my sponsors, haven't you? Thank you very much, guys. Really appreciate it. Well done to you. Top ride, MJ. Coming through is one of the winning owners, Robert Bloomberg. Robert, we don't see you on course very often, but you must be very excited about this fellow because he's won really well today. Yeah, I'm sweating up a bit after that. He hadn't seen that MJ decided to stick me away. I'm going to stick him away. He said he had to take his underpants off in order to make the weight. But anyway, thanks to him. It was a, it was a great ride. Thanks to Vaughan, uh, to my partner, Ron Chetty, and his wife. He's a very smart horse, you know, he's still only a two-year-old. He's a November foal, and uh, I think he's got a lot of promise. And a, a message to Candace Robinson that you can win from any draw. Durnville, he was drawn eight out of nine. We had three horses today from wide draws, so hopefully she'll stop crying. But uh, going forward, this horse's program's pretty much mapped out for himself. We're going to go for the Racing Association Mile in PE on the 25th. Uh, then the Cape Guineas, I think it's on the 21st of December. Uh, CTS Mile, Met Day and the derby at the end of February. Smashing horse. I mean, he's, he's not overly big, but he's obviously got a huge heart. And as I said earlier to, to MJ, I just love the way he switched off in the race. He was beautifully positioned, and that acceleration was just amazing. Yeah, if you remember how green he was on debut to where he is now, he's learning with racing, and he's improving all the time. And as you know, it's not easy for these young three-year-olds against older hard knockers in these kind of races. And this, this was a decent field. And I, yes, I know he was getting weight from the older horses, but uh, as I say, he's still only really a two-year-old. So, well, Lovely to have a, a top horse running in your colours again. And uh, the season looks very exciting ahead for you. Well done. Yeah, it does. Thanks a lot, Fee. Thank you. Well done, Robert. Lovely to have you on course. And what a top horse Kane Lime and Soda looks to be. He's a three-year-old. He was beating the older horses. And he certainly did it in fine style today here at Durbanville.